Hey guys, Alfred and Vinny here with the Garage Heroes. On today's video, we want to talk about Star Wars, specifically like the latest stuff that happened and future potential stuff that we know and some that we might speculate of like where they're talking about and where clearly since now they're, you know, looking at fan feedback so much, they're probably going to go, or at least we think, Yeah. seeing as, you know, where things have gone. First, we want to probably go into Rise and then do that as yeah, it flows. get it out of the way. First. And uh, before that, we want to talk about what we felt about the, the prior movies, specifically this trilogy, not um, anything else. All right, All right, so I'll put it this way. This is the oddest trilogy perhaps I've ever seen in all of film, not just Star Wars. It has its moments where it's good, and then it has its moments where it's bad. And the, the, the interesting thing is that me and him, we kind of look at it on different angles we're looking at from polar opposites kind of in a sense that's what's uh, made this trilogy the most fun for me is kind of just the banter that we've had oh, about yeah. it which is yeah. is more of the enjoyment really and that's kind of sad in a sense it's um, been bad but it's also been good because you know there's just so much discussion around it every single time it comes out you know and like movie, it's not necessarily good but it's you know you're constantly talking about and it and each movie feels almost like it's in its own like kind of breakaway thing yeah. like artistically because each movie is made J.J. Abrams makes seven, then he runs away. You know, he runs away from the job. He doesn't do anything for those two years. And Ryan Johnson comes in. He does what he does, and we're in disagreement I, I here. think I get where you're going. Like, you know, the, you, okay, the first uh, one is very much like, oh, we love... An ode to... We love back then. We're hey, making uh, it like uh, back uh, then. It's an homage, yeah. And it feels like back then, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And we're very much going straight for the, the fans. Not fan story, but like for what people really like. From the script to you know, the directing But from the future. Not like taking it to the future, that to the mm -hmm. future, but like taking it back to the past. Yes, and that's what I thought was interesting. Then the new... Then the, well, the, the Ryan Johnson one yeah. is more of a screw that. Can't let the past Let's die. not go back. This one is like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Reddit and find what out happens? what they think. <laughs> what do the people think? So that's what the ultimate uh, conclusion of this. So, is. what is your thoughts on the I, I, on these two? On these two, before we get into it, uh, what eight and nine? Seven and eight. Seven, I thought was like a cutesy kind of welcome back to Star Wars movie. I thought that it was enjoyable, but ultimately, you know killing characters that already wanted out and doing things like that were kind of predictable and it didn't do anything out of the norm for a Star Wars movie necessarily. And then episode eight came and it did everything completely on a flip from anything I've ever seen in Star Wars. For better or for worse, I've come to grips with Luke running away and doing all these things, so that's okay, but ultimately him dying still drove me crazy. And that's how I feel, so it's really a so mix. So what is it, what is it, stand on eight now? I'm, I'm okay with it, but I don't like this movie. Like, I do not like that. That movie does not make me feel good. So, okay, let, yeah. let me go into the yeah. lines. I really like Seven, and I thought that over time, you know, it, it would it would wane, you know, my love for it. But I actually really love it. I, I think that the characters in there are really good. I like every single one of them. I thought the idea of Finn was pretty cool. I love Poe. Mm -hmm. For I, I love him in every single one of these. I, I, I love all the characters, so to me... I really like that movie, and even though it's pretty straightforward and it's nothing new, I feel like it's done very well. Like the pace is really good; it's really fast. Like, that's what I like about and seven. like yeah, that's what I like. Yeah. I, th I think seven is, is very well done. Like it does all the introducing to what we got to do really well. Like you know, it gives mm -hmm. exposition like really well. I think that movie gives exposition like some of the best, which is like JJ's thing. That's why so I I, I really like that one. I, that's I, why I'm against eight though, because I feel like it is kind of saying. I don't kind of like the way that this is going. Let me mix it up and do my own thing. Which to, you know, for better or worse, like I said, at the end of the day, it happened and it's it's done with now. Eight, I actually really love That's the one I really love. I think yeah. it's actually real close to being like my favorite Star Wars movie. I, I genuinely really, really like that one. Not even just to be controversial because I know everybody hates it. it. It took a bit. Like there is certainly things that aren't good. Some humor, like some of your mama jokes, which, uh, you know, don't land too well. It's a little bit of thing contention with the... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yo, I'll say this much. The beginning of that movie might start oh, better than nice. any other oh, yeah. Star Wars That's movie. my favorite Star Wars start. Might be the like, be best beginning. And I was like, whoa, but yeah. go on. I, I like where he tries to subvert and where he tries to... I like what he tries to say. It's a Star Wars movie very focused on the bigger picture. And I, I really like that. I feel like it's really intelligent. Like, it's probably like one of the smartest Star Wars movies. What's interesting about that is that is true. He definitely was trying to do something bigger with it's it. A, it's a student 
film. Like, but it's just, a, it's a student no, film. It's that, just, like, a man, dude just got out of college. Yeah, people were like, and people just were it. not for it. I was not for it because I just thought it was too much. I understood what he was trying to do at the core of everything. He just did things that I just thought were complete polar opposites of what characters would do, so on and so forth. Yoda, um, those are real page turners, stuff like that. So things that I held close to me, thinking Yoda was the only one that would have appreciated those books and really respected them. And he's like, fuck those books, you know? Page turners, sense. they're not, although I yeah. love that line. So I get it, I love the line too, you know, because it's Yoda and right, it's cool. Yeah. But man, that, that was something for me, along with other things. There's other things, the Canto Bite and so on and so forth, wasted footage. To me, at least, it just feels like something from the prequels. All know? right, so, so now you pretty much got it. We're we're not too far away from each other, but yeah, we are still kind yeah, of far we're, because we're eight, apart. eight. As long as you're split on eight, you're yeah. pretty divided. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. if we love the one and the yeah. other, you know, we're kind of you're mixed, and I'm mm -hmm. all the way over here. That's where we split everybody. And yeah. Now we get to the and rise. I'm smiling and now. now. <laughs> I'm smiling now, now because this is interesting. Uh, Listen, I I just want to. This is this is really the the biggest thing with me is that this is my favorite franchise first and foremost like listen i love these movies even when they're bad i'm like all right at least i got more of them i'm that type of person you know i'm also a godzilla fan so i love all of the cheat you know it doesn't matter to me how bad it gets you know let's not get into that i think that this movie the way it feels like the complaints about pace and it all over the place i don't think that's the problem i just think that the script wasn't amazing i just think if the script was better and it was all over the place like that people wouldn't mind we loved endgame even though it was built up the right way and we won't go into all those things, but in general, we look at it and we were, we were damn proud of that movie after we saw it, like they did it. They finished it the right way. And I feel like if this was written right, because that movie's all over the place, this would have been nearly there. Not to say that this would have been the greatest triumph of Star Wars, but it would have been up there with the greater movies. For me, it's somewhere around a seven. I ended up uh, watching it again and thinking about it and really just deeply thinking and saying, well, it's a clusterfuck, but it's something that I enjoy and it feels like it's the last movie of the Skywalker saga, if that makes any sense. I mean, Specifically, I what, what was it that really made it like, even though it's a clusterfuck, those things are so good that like, uh, I, I don't even care. Um, I can look past that. The connection that's built in this trilogy between Kylo and Rey, and it's built on in this, and I still like that, and I still advocate for it. I thought that the power with the lightsaber behind the back was phenomenal. That's the funny thing, is that I just loved all of the action in the movie. Anything that was action, I thought was good. Anything that was trying to be comedy, generally, was pretty good. There were times where like jokes fell off and stuff like that, but I thought that it did a decent enough job there. The problem is, is that the Emperor, there's not a good explanation for him coming back. He fucking force storms everything, and it's stupid. The double-bladed lightsaber blocked by Rey, which is now the dumbest thing in the history of Star Wars. Maybe, it could possibly be, because let me tell you something, if I knew that, every Star Wars game I've ever played, I've been using two lightsabers, I just been walking through these games, just chopping away, because- Does that be count for dual lightsabers then? No. Like, are those no, stronger no, no. than single no. lightsabers? that's now? why they didn't give her one. That's why, remember how the original script, the Trevorrow script, had the double bladed. I, let's, oh, no, that's, let's hold but, that, because I actually want to get but into that's, that later. That's not bit. where the real power no, is. The, to, the, the two single to blades, hold. you block off, that's where the power comes from. And that's what pissed me off with this movie. That probably brought it down a whole point and a half. That was kind of corny. But all the fan servicey stuff, it was nice. You know, it's a nice, it feels, it's a fun movie. It feels like a kid's movie. It doesn't really feel like it's made to For be children. dark and gruesome. It didn't even feel like that at its darkest moments to me. Even when they get zapped their life force, which was cool. All the force powers are cool in this movie. I don't care what anybody says. The force healing's a little bit too much because extended universe, Luke was doing it. So all that stuff was there. Kathleen Kennedy, don't lie to us and say that you didn't go in there and steal things, but you did, you definitely did. But I wanna know what you think about it. I liked the beginning. I thought that even though there was, like every single time you'd get to a transition that would tell you like, oh, this is what you gotta get, that explanation would always be dazzling. Dazzling in its stupidity. Like it would be really dumb. But for a while, those didn't matter because it would just get us to sit with these characters, which we haven't gotten to do, and which is maybe a, not a gripe because I like what Ryan Johnson did, but it's something that he, in his script he could not do. 
we couldn't have all these people together. And in here, I really like Poe and Finn's dynamic. I've always have. As do and I. here we get to have them all the time. So so what if they're searching after another MacGuffin and when they give you some of those, it is so bad. Like, the, <laughs> the for instance, one of them, not only do you get the, the stupidity that Palpatine is back and that some of the remains of that second Death Star actually survived, which is like, <laughs> you saw that thing get atomized, which that is dumb. It but but I, I, I let that go. I let that go. But the next thing is so bad. They make a dagger. Like, it's on a planet of water. Like, the water level could rise, but, like, the dagger shows, like, the 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 broken part. It has every edge, every little Sith broken Morse piece, code. and it lines up right with the with the Death Star's remains, Sith Morse code. which could break at any day. And it's like thirty years old. Like this thing could not work tomorrow, and it's it survived for thirty years, and it pointed them exactly to the position of where Palpatine is. It's completely illogical. It's not even space magic or like no. oh suspend your disbelief. It's so dumb. It's just here like, you it's go. It's so outrageously yeah. dumb. It's a here you go. And that's my problem. And like they had some good stuff in there too. I liked when Chewie died because the movie was about Rey is she dark or is she not? And then she's in conflict because she doesn't know and she kills him by accident trying mm -hmm. to help. That would help with that. But they immediately show the audience it's not true. Yeah. Which, it still doesn't do it to the character, so Too they're not soon. relieved yet. But, like, for you, it's it's already gone. Too soon, perhaps. That's gone. Like, yeah. the, the stakes are out the window, and then you're like, okay, if you're gonna do this, then you better keep everybody alive. Yeah. You better, because, right, like, right, it right. don't matter, nothing matters yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they kill Kylo. Yeah. Which is like, Which is... dude, if you're gonna give fan service, then keep Kylo. Yeah. You like, I like the Ray and Kylo love thing, but in the Ryan Johnson one, they break it off. Like that end of that movie is supposed it's to over. be her shutting yeah. him down. Yeah. Like we hear that in other scripts, she, there is that. more conflict there, yeah. but it's it's not a sexual anymore. Yeah, yeah. Maybe there is a sexual Maybe, thing, but, but they're you know that's how it they was. know where they stand now. Yeah, yeah. They are enemies now. Yeah, it, that's where it was supposed to go. Yeah, he gives her an ultimatum: join me, let's just start this all over again. Yeah, she so. knows that she can't turn. She feels at least that movie um, ends with a definitive: that. I can't do anything. Yeah, even Leia says it. This movie clearly turns it around. And if you're gonna do that, then give us the ending we wanted. Then give us, then give Reddit what they wanted. Give them the Raylo in the future, like they have a kid or whatever, mm. anything. Running an academy, maybe. They, they, they go to Luke and and. Uh, <laughs> Tatooine, which is like weird because yeah. like they're burying a sword of a lady who doesn't even have a planet anymore and mm -hmm. has no attachment to there and Luke is like Who the hell cares about Tatooine? He didn't care about Tatooine. He wanted to get out of there. Yeah, nobody ever wanted to stay in Tatooine I don't know. It's it's a real corny movie. There's some really corny parts But that's, that's what it is. is. It's all the MacGuffins of it and all the just dead I didn't even plot care. That, That's not even the thing that bothers me that much. It's just how some of those MacGuffins like have like Ridiculously stupid Lives explanations. Lives in their own, bro. Stip stupid, way stupid too explanations. Complex. Stupid ending. Stupid new enemy. <laughs> it just feels so like this is, feels like the sloppiest Star Wars what movie. What about what about um, so the Emperor? He <laughs> the basis of Episode Four and Six is they have a super weapon that can destroy planets. Episode Seven, they have Star Killer Base that can destroy multiple planets at once. Uh, now, see that's now they rise up from the, the depths of the ice, this hidden fleet that's all retrofitted already. And it's been with like Death Star worked on cannons. and like it has people in there. There's no recoil to And it came in from space. the ice as well. It came prepared with people in it oh, they're ready from to the go. ice. Like the engineers they're... were working inside the ice ball. Yeah, we'll just stay with here like forever. thousands of them just like cramped in that ice Sitting ball. on blocks of ice, you know? It's amazing. They're not even saying they're inside. They were inside. They were floating. They're... It's bizarre. I it's... don't want to say I dislike <laughs> it because it's not horrible. It's a spectacle. But it, but the yeah, way you get there is just it's just it, stupid. It's, very... it's stupid and it's not offensive. It's just really stupid. Like I like them destroying the star destroyer stuff, like on the actual ship, like fighting and doing yada yada yada. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm I'm very mixed because I enjoyed no, like it, it sitting I mean, there from that standpoint of just seeing that battle with the water and with everything happening. I'm a, I'm you a simple like man. Right? Nothing simple ain't nothing man. wrong with liking it. I man. myself don't even think. It's terrible. I'm glad I like it. I just know that it ain't good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it ain't terrible. I'm, like, it's all right. Mm-hmm. But it is, it. it is, 
it's not it's good. not what it's no. not what we we long ago dreamt of if we ever yeah. got these three movies it's definitely that's what it is, is punctuating it's, this disaster i mean you think about what we had before that what we were banking on was all these books that were coming out back then that were talking oh. about jason jane and that's who i feel for ben skywalker of course the because people who were reading the the like the canonical books like no, not that you you didn't even give up with those. I'm talking about the ones that were happening right oh, now. Oh, not, oh, not the, oh yeah, not the yeah, old yeah, door, yeah, 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 not the yeah. old door. Okay, not old. Because they didn't promise you any of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the people who the were re- keeping stuff, up, yeah. they like oh 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 Poe's gonna be this Poe. Poe ain't nothing. Ain't nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Nothing's coming. None of those books are relevant here. Po and I didn't even read them, but I know that nothing you wanted. Is in this movie. Poe couldn't even get a kiss in this movie. <laughs> hey, he was gonna get a kiss though. I actually really like that. Cause it, it would have been really cliche. The way it was, it was actually kind of cool, because he looks even more suave. He looks even more suave than he got rejected. I'm not I don't know why. Any. The way he was so cool about it. So I mean, cool about it. I like it. You man. just won. You're free to be whoever you want to be now. You beat them. So you I don't know that request. Like I'd the way he re- too. the way he requested it was just like adorable. I fucking thought it was awesome. He's and I like the way he handled rejection. I, I thought it was awesome. I thought it did well for his character. He's a big Poe guy. So yeah, I'm in love with that. That's dude. that's what it is. Yeah. Finn is the guy that got shafted throughout this trilogy. Well, I mean, he man. got finally. Now nah, he got shafted. But he finally got nah, like four sensitivity. He got shafted, which was like dope. Like but it that was now. dope. Shafted. That, was that should have been episode seven, my boys. Should have been episode seven. Nah, bro, he's a beautiful, beautiful character in that. But it needed to be episode seven. It Maybe episode been eight. Such a badass. Maybe episode bro. eight. I was just dreaming, bro. When he picks up that lightsaber, I thought we'd go somewhere else in eight and nine with this. Like the two of them together as a team, maybe like a tag and bink thing. For anybody that knows tag and bink, probably not. There was just something about. If you could have went in that direction, or maybe even if Kylo there were a lot more Finn, promising things we thought. Or Kylo for takes the Ray, and then Finn That's trains. What it is. This, this is a again. lot of things where it could have gone. That's what where it is. Where it went is literally one of the least interesting places. So, so yeah, ultimately that's that. Let's uh, move on though. Let's get let's get on to the. Uh, um, let's get on to, to the, the future. To the gravy. Yeah.